Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are starting in a, in a dark, dark tunnel with a, with a small light at the end. Today we're actually playing a game called The Witness. It is a very, very creative puzzle game where you have to solve puzzles to get to the end. There's really no story. We kind of try to figure it out as you go. Let's begin with the walkthrough. So obviously the controls are very simple, just WASD, walking down this long tunnel as the light increases ever so slightly. And here we have a simple puzzle. The puzzles in this game are pretty simple. You have to click on the puzzle, and you have to go from this big circle all the way to the end. And then click again. There we go, it's open. And we make the first step towards now this part. This is the next puzzle. We're just trying to get out of this very, very dark cave. Just an upside down L. And we're making our way up the stairs. It's a very, very beautiful game. As we look around, the visuals are stunning. As you can see, there's a, some kind of mountain up there. We're stuck in this little garden. And I will try to lead you through all the puzzles in this game. Okay, so this first puzzle is in this very lonely tower. We're going to start right here. This is a maze, and you have to start from this bottom right corner and go in this exact pattern. Watch very closely. So you go around, and then up, and you connect it, and that should power up this line, which goes straight to this light segment over here. Next puzzle is this one right here along this back wall where this ominous looking door is, and this is actually a very simple one. You just gotta go from the bottom. <clears throat> you can do a little loop de loop here. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. And then go all the way up. This should unlock a puzzle over here. We walk over here. This is another one of those puzzles. What you have to do is you obviously have to go around, up, and boom. That should take it to the next puzzle. Let's get over there. Okay, so the next puzzle is inside this next lonely tower. As you can see, we just unlocked it with this line. And let's complete the puzzle. So the end is over here, and you just have to follow a long winding track. You just have to go into the center, go up, and around. Now let's see where the next line leads. That should actually lead straight over here to this final part. And we just have one more line to unlock. Okay, and this final puzzle is going to be right next to the entrance. You actually have to go right outside. And as you can see, the line will lead up here. You just have to follow this trail. So let's do just that. Here we are in this little lone tower. And let us complete this puzzle. Now what we're going to do is actually go for the top little bump. Because I'm pretty sure you can't get to the bottom one. Here we are. Okay, guys, I do stand corrected. You can actually go to the bottom one, and that is what you actually have to do to solve this puzzle. You have to go wind all the way down, and then that should unlock whatever is up there. Now that you have completed all three of those puzzles, you can now unlock this very, very ominous looking gateway. It's a very simple puzzle, you can just go from the top, Go all the way down any way you like. And now we have officially gotten into the witness. Let's step through these gates. Slowly walk along this track. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Admire these beautiful visuals. Before we finally begin this game. Just look at this beautiful view. Wow, this game is amazing. But, the next thing we are going to do is actually walk along this path. And we are going to solve a series of puzzles to continue on with the game. Right over here. So, the way the puzzles work in this game is they kind of teach you how to do the beginning puzzle and then the puzzles get harder and harder. For example, over here, the, the whole catch here is that you need to separate the black and the white squares. Just like that. Over here, you need to go in between them. 
Over here, you only need to separate the white and the black one. Over here, you do that again. Over here, it's a bit more complicated, but it should be pretty simple. Over here, you actually have to go all the way around to block out the white from the black. Here, we do that. Then we actually have to go all the way up. Make a little box for that top one. Continue. And here you actually have to take a different approach. You actually have to go right first. And then you can go all the way around and complete this one. This is the final one over here. Let's see what we can do. And then for this final one over here, this is what you have to do. You have to go up one, then go up two. Then you just have to wind all the way back down. And there you are. You have completed these little blue, I don't even know what to call them, separators, where you're trying to separate the white from the black. And there is actually another puzzle over this way, this little rundown shack. And it says green puzzles. And what you have to do is collect these little, I don't know what you call them, black hexagons. And you need to try to get to all of them. To complete the second one, you just have to go up and then loop all the way down for this one for this one you again have to go up and then come down for this one there are actually two starts you should be utilizing this one and then just following this sequence right here and this should be the last one and the one that you start from is from the very top then you wrap all the way around like a little snake and boom now, as you can see, this does not connect to anything, and you might be wondering what the purpose of this was. Well, this whole thing was part of the entry area, and I was trying to teach you how to complete these types of puzzles, where you need to collect the black hexagons, and we need to do the separation. So, if you actually realize something, there was a little path over here, and it actually came over to this door. Now, as you can see, if you didn't know how to complete this before, now this is actually teaching you. You need to collect all the little black hexagons, and you need to do the separation. So this is actually one of the secrets in the game. There really is no actual purpose to this other than trying to learn more about what this game is. So what you need to do is actually start from this beginning over here, go all the way around, separate these pieces over here, then you need to go all the way around here, separate this black and white one, go all the way down and then you should be able to finish this up this opens this door very very slowly and you should be able to walk in then you see this box very simple puzzle it opens up and inside is some kind of answer this actually answers something that we are actually going to be using later. Because right now there really is nothing in here. We are going to be utilizing this at a later point. But let's continue back onto the main path and let's actually complete the first main area. I'll meet you there. Okay, so this next area over here is some kind of boatyard. As you can see, it's just off the path where we were a few seconds ago. But let's, it looks kind of like the Grand Canyon, but to a very small degree. I should be able to go down this winding path, and then you should be able to find this boatyard where we can solve a few of these, you know, puzzles. Now the whole catch to this is that it's all about symmetry. As you can see, these two cannot be connected, but you have to manipulate them in a way to actually get over here. As you can see, we've gotten inside some pottery in here. This looks absolutely beautiful. But the puzzles in here, as I said, are going to be mainly based on symmetry. So let's start over here. For example, you're going to have to go up and around like that over here. Over here, it is a little dark. But you should be able to see that the way to do this is you go all the way around and in and up. Over here, the circles actually start inside. We actually need to do is go in first you actually can't go up on that other side 
So you have to find a different way. Or here it's getting bigger and bigger. I actually need to lean in a bit to see. But you should be able to go out, up. You need to look at both sides and really concentrate on how to solve these puzzles. Because this game, if you're not following this tutorial, it really is a game that you need to think a lot. Like you really need to understand what you're doing. You really need to you really need to comprehend the rules of the puzzles because that's really what's going to help you finish them. Okay, then I believe we can go up and around and in. As you can see, that design was just so intricate. Oh boy. And here we go. It has come down. As you can see, this right here it's currently not locked unlocked. What should be able to happen here is that when this is unlocked, we should be able to summon a boat here, which we are not able to do at this point. Okay, so we have unlocked this green line going all the way over here, where we can continue with our next symmetry puzzle. Let me just walk a little closer. We should be able to go up and around like that. This game is so creative because every single area, it has some sort of gimmick. This one is symmetry, the last one was like, uh, trying not for, for the different, for black and white not to connect, or for, to collect all the hexagons. It really is very creative, and you really need to think when solving these puzzles. As you can see, I did kind of mess up a little there, but if you understand the rules, you should be able to do this. Okay, so to solve this one, you go up and around here you should you should be able to kind of meet in the middle a bit and then finish this off as you can see it's kind of melting down here because of the sunlight it is exposed to but you should be able to complete this either way just go up and then boom this one's just way melted you can still start down here but of course that's not that's really not recommendable because you you can't see anything at this point okay I'm really trying to concentrate here let's see what I'm doing should be able to go down and complete. And this actually, as you can see, the green light glowed up. And it actually connects to the next part that we're going to go to in this video. And it is called Symmetry Island. That was the boat dock. And this is called Symmetry Island because, of course, everything here is symmetry, is all about symmetry. So let's begin. Now in this game, you can really go anywhere. As you can see, there's a beautiful cherry blossom forest over here. There's a desert over there. You can go to any place you want. But I'm going to do it one way. You can do it any other way. But this can, should hopefully help you. So here we are at the first puzzle to be able to open these magnificent gates. And it's very simple. This kind of takes the thing that we were talking about before. We need to collect all these little black hexagons. And you should be able to open these doors and step through. Now, of course, up here, it does need to be powered from down there. So you do need to take the bottom route. And then you need to solve all of these puzzles before you can move on. So let's start over here. Now, this is combining two elements. It's combining the black hexagons. And it's combining the, the symmetry part. So you actually need to think about both sides. And then you also need to recognize that you need to collect all of these. So for example over here you need to actually make a very very long winding snake. Then you should be able to go like that. Basically covers up the whole entire screen. Here we actually start an opposite size so you need to be aware of that. And then you do it like that. The main point of this game is to find out the different rules and then you need to understand what you need to do to solve the puzzles using those rules. Now this unlocks the next part so let's move on. Now we did actually come up to this part right here it's the same deal but now we actually have to collect color-coded hexagons. So for example we have the blue one over here you have to collect the blue hexagon and the yellow one has to collect the yellow one, etc, etc. The blue one over here actually has to go down and around. And then you can actually get into the holes. The one you are controlling is the blue one, so you need to start from the bottom. And then you also need to collect these black hexagons at the same time. 
so you need to be aware of both of them. This next one, you start again from the bottom, and you just have to wind all the way up. Complete it real quick. And this is going to be the last puzzle in this set. You just have to do that, that, that. And go all the way around. And then... And then you should be able to complete that. Look at how beautiful that is. That actually goes all the way up here. So let's continue. So the balloon starts on the left side. You just have to make a little up and around. Collect all of both of the blue and the yellow ones. You should be able to complete that quite easily. You so for this next one, you actually have to stick to the left or the right side. You have to make sure that you're kind of not crossing onto the other side because all the or all of your squares are over here. There we go. So as you can see, with every time we're doing this, you're actually seeing the left, the le the yellow one less and less. So you need to be aware of that and just try to solve with the blue one and try to coordinate, even though you're not seeing anything. So over here, it's barely visible. But, in fact, you should be able to do that to complete that one. Over here, you just need to go all the way around. At this point, I don't, I don't even know where the yellow one is, so I won't be surprised if you don't know either. So the last one, we should be able to complete this one, and then we'll be able to continue. There we go. That's powered it up up there. We should be able to cross up there. Actually, we should be able to solve this puzzle. Then we have the gates open. An ominous looking box over here. As you can see, this has powered this up. And we should be able to solve these. And hopefully go home safe and ready for our next mission. Let me just quickly solve these over here. There, there's a yellow and a blue side, which would both are needed to power that up. So let's go over here. And then this next yellow one. So have to make a very big, I don't know, snake shape. What do you call that? This one actually doesn't go anywhere. That's that's very odd. It's this blue one that matters. Oh, I guess what you're trying to do is replicate it from this side to that side. This is kind of, this is what you're doing over here. So you just go like that. Oh, right there. This one powers on. You have to go around like that. I'm just trying to look at my notes here because I do have this all written down. I did play this game before, so I, I already know all these tips and tricks. And hopefully I'll be able to help you in your gaming experience. Then we go around. That should unlock this very, very ominous looking box over here. But if we just put in that little upside down L shape, you should be able to see this come up. I'm just going to let you watch this. This little turret come up out of its little box. There you go, it's aiming. Boom! The laser is now shining. You see that mountain over there? That mountain we saw at the very beginning? This, oh, when you complete a stage, when you complete one of these main maps, what happens is a laser starts shining towards there. And when you actually need to complete the game, you actually need to have all those lasers connected. Okay, so I know that, that we did complete this part already. We did have that laser shining. But there is actually another part to this little main area. Ooh, look at my look at my shadow. I'm looking pretty, pretty, you know, sexy. I mean, oh, what? So what you need to do is walk down from the entrance and actually walk down this slope over here. Now, we haven't actually been down here before, but what you can see is this puzzle over here. 
And this doesn't have anything on it. You might be wondering, what is this? This is another one of those rules. What you have to do is you actually have to align the puzzle based on the surroundings. And that's what you're going to start to see with a lot of these different scenarios. With a lot of these different rules. You, it's going to be based on the environment and you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to understand how the environment works and then you're going to have to adjust according to it. So over here, this next one. Ooh, I'm not positioned very well. Come on. Okay, let's complete this next one. This next one goes like that. Boom, shlakak, boom, boom. This one over here. As you can see, we are going... As you can see, the shadow down there, you actually have to be mindful not only of the top part, but also the shadows. And that's kind of what's going to help you through this. And this is the last one over here. Doesn't really connect to anything. And this is actually an optional part. So at this point in the video, here we are. We did complete that. You know, this, we're completionists here. We're going we're to complete every single part of this game. There's actually a pillow fort over here. It's kind of deconstructed, but that's okay. However, this is going to wrap up today's video. If you were here for the tutorial, I hope this really helped. Of course, we did complete the whole entry part. We actually did find a secret. And we completed this first part called Symmetry Island. In the next episode, we're going to be moving on, I don't know, to the sand dunes, to the, to the blossom forest. We're probably going to be doing those two in the next episode. But tell me what you'd like to see. Which part should we go to next? Go online and do a bit of research what parts are in this game. Because this is a very fast and expansive game. And the walkthrough should take a few parts. But I am going to end off in this cherry blossom forest. It's very beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to see more of this. And of course, goodbye.